It's my feel good breakfast show. Next up, rather exciting news. A brand new newspaper has been launched um, that's really shining the spotlight on Africa and challenging those stereotypes of how the, vo the world actually views Africa as a continent. And Tenji went to find out exactly what it's all about. When you think of Africa, what do you see? War, famine, or poverty? One newspaper determined to change the way the world views Africa as well as the continent's perspective of itself is the newly established African Independent. It's so wonderful to be right in the heart of Johannesburg in Mabuneng, the place of lights, which is both edgy and experiencing quite a positive growth. And I think it's a great metaphor for where we are as a country. But as a continent, is this an indication of where we should be going? Well, you know, Africa is at a very exciting stage of, of its life because um, a few years ago, Africa was, from an investment attractive point of view, was second last. Um, and today, Africa is uh, number two in the world, second only to North, Northern America. And that tells you that something good is happening on the continent. Can you tell me more about the newspaper and what you aim to achieve? We are going to change the narrative. What do I mean by that? When you look at the way Africa is covered now, Africa is covered uh, because of the problems that Africa has. But the African independent wants to change the narrative by telling the full story. Uh, Ebola is a problem, it's a plaque, it it's needs attention, but surely Ebola cannot be the only story about Sierra Leone and Liberia. And we've got to look at the, the fact that seven of the world's fastest growing economies are on the continent. And behind that growth must be some fantastic stories, must be some good stories about what Africans are doing themselves. With the latest news, politics, business, sport and entertainment on the website, the online platform will also provide a base for thought-provoking discussions, bringing to light the positive and negative aspects of the continent. A huge section of our newspaper is called Outlook. This is the thought leadership section where uh, we're going to publish analysis and comment and, and that will be accompanied by a series of events based on issues, you know, where we invite stakeholders, we invite our readers and we engage in a conversation. The African Independent launched its first issue on Friday the 28th of August at the CTICC in Cape Town. The messages of the day solidified the fact that Africa is every investor's dream. We have a chance as Africans to narrate our own story, to reflect our successes and our achievements. We also have the opportunity to live in the complexity of what it means to be a modern African, particularly because this continent is the future. I'm really, really excited that we've gotten to this point that we can actually launch this newspaper today, uh, starting in about 15 to 20 countries and eventually reaching by the end of this year 40 countries on the African continent. I'm very excited that there's a newspaper right at my doorstep that's gonna tell me about what's happening in my country, so I'm always in the loop. As an African airline bringing people together on the continent, I am sure that African Independent will do the same. With some of the fastest growing economies on the continent, booming industries and the next generation of world leaders, isn't it finally time that we changed our story? But before we can change the world's opinion of Africa, we first have to change our opinion of ourselves.